Jade is eating ice cream because it's hot. Hey guys, this new thing I got and you guys are gonna love it because I have a feeling I'm gonna love it. I'm gonna show you guys a little unboxing clip right now of me taking all of the parts out, which aren't that much, so I don't know why I said all, but um, I do wanna tell you guys, I am loving all my new air products I've been getting, like seriously, the ice maker, the freezer, the mini refrigerator, the mini wine fridge, like we use them all and are obsessed with them all. So now we have a new member from New Air, a little family member now. And we are gonna name her, what should we name her? Chili. Chili. Oh yeah. Chili. So this has this has been on non-stop you guys like this whole summer so i'm ready to just turn it off and let it have a little break so he's super excited about this do you want to tell them why he, look at it, it's like a toy for him this is the try to cut, to cut down on my ac cross this thing runs on 120 and ours runs on 240 208 and it has, this has a circuit breaker, so when you plug in the wall, if it too much power to it and you over amp it, it's gonna set this off and shut this down before it kills the actual circuit breaker. Okay, so he has, he Larry actually has a lot to say here about this because he <laughs> loves this, so I'll let him No, this have is his good, time. like, if, you know, in summer you run your air a lot and sometimes uh, they fail and they're very expensive. So this is a good backup, if anything, but another thing I just want to show you guys, this is like the filters. You just remove these and you rinse them out. You should never make sure these are dirty. And there's two of them. One here. Easy, maintain. This is where this is where you're going to remove the heat from. So you hook up the, the hose or the vent to a window, which I'll show you all the stuff right now. And I'm pumped to get this thing going. Yeah, he's been waiting. He's like, can we play with that now? It's, play it's with pretty that? small too. I'd say it's probably like 30 inches by... You know, I'll say 12 by 12. It, I think it is equivalent enough to, to be like a one ton unit, which is about 400 square feet, you know, which is a, a nice size room in the house. So it's good to have one of these in your house. Every home I think needs one of these. See me, I'm like, look, it has wheels. But <laughs> no, but seriously, like if your air goes out, like this thing you can put in like the main room and you guys will be fine for the summer. Okay, yeah, let's give a thumbs up for Larry's reviews. Okay. Like, come no, on, no, you no, need no, more. No, no. <laughs> All right. So this is this is the, the, the base plate or the wall plate that you know goes towards the window. Here's a window right here, right? You you can either go vertical, right? Vertical. It depends on which way your your windows open. Ours is going to be like this, and I'm going to put it down at the bottom, so uh, it's pretty easy. I'll show you guys right now. For like people like me that are like kind of confused, which I know it's probably the easiest thing ever, but you know, you know what, what he knows what he's doing, so that's why I'm like, okay, he's gonna set it up, not me. So, um, you need to hook this up, or else it's just gonna be hot air blowing inside your hot house. Like, you so, you can't just plug and play. No, you need just to remove kidding. the hot air. I know out. that, and this thing just spins on. Ah. Pretty simple, righty tiny lefty loosey, guys. Not bad, right? And then this one goes to your window. I don't hook up, but you know, I, I just I just uh, extended it. You know, I I say it's about a five foot length total, so you can move this wherever you guys need to, you know. But this thing needs at least like two feet clearance, so it draws in all the hot air, releases the cold air, removes the hot air. This is just an adapter for this, uh, the part that exhausts the air out, and it just snaps in. It's pretty simple. And now I'm gonna screw it on. All right, so I just screwed this on, and now I'm gonna do one of these things with the adapter. It comes with a set screw in the in the manual with the remote, and there's other features I'm gonna show you guys. Now you don't have to actually turn the air on anymore. <laughs> It just comes with this set screw and this wing nut that you tighten to adjust the height of your window, which I'll show you right now. So I'm gonna open the window. 
slide this down in here. Oh no, it don't work. Okay. Oh, you got jokes. The set screw, right? I'm actually hook it up and then close the window. This thing just snaps in here. You just want to make sure it locks in. It's pretty basic. Then you slam it in there. Make sure you you're all the way to the top. Let me slam this guy tight so it doesn't move. Set the set screw. Push it tight. Close this all the way. And then you can re-lock your windows with the lock. All right, next step. Ooh, I'm gonna have to rewatch this when you're not home and I want to turn yeah, it on. Cool. See, so so you got about a five foot play where you want to put this. I'm gonna kind of just tuck this in the corner. Right here. First, I'm gonna close these blinds and keep the heat out as much as I can. And let me show some features on this thing. Oh gosh, he's so loving I this. I did mention that, that we have a lot of new air appliances, but their customer service, I think, is the best part because if you have any issues or anything, you just call or email them. They, they are very quick to respond. And we trust all of their. Yes. Like I said, these things, this is like the return filter. You want to keep both these clean all the time and you want to keep free space around these back parts so it draws in all the hot air from the house okay so there's four modes that, between this unit there's cooling modes it cools down to 61 degrees there's a dehumidifying mode which we're, gonna, we're not going to use right now because it's summer and it's hot we want to cool the house down there's a basic fan mode which is a basic fan and then there's a sleep mode that the sleep mode is pretty much a timer mode and we're gonna plug this thing in and give it a try all right he just plugged it in i saw it flash up here okay these, these are the, the wait the... we gotta turn off our normal air i left it on i forgot to turn off my bad <laughs> commercial break we bring to you some ice cream sandwich that Jax is going to eat now all right you ready yeah oh thumbs up all right here we go plugged in Next step. All right, so you want to open these up. These are the, this is what's going to deflect the arrows, point it which way, and then they even have these guys that turn to point them in the direction you want them. So we're going to hit the power button. It says how hot it is in this house. Oh, look at chilly degrees. in here. We're going to turn the air down. All right, so we, we just put cooling on. So cooling is a snowflake, and then we're going to go down, we'll say 70. You hear the compressor kick on? Yeah. You hear it got louder? Oh, it yeah. feels nice. Okay. I'm going to get the thermometer and we'll check the temperature. Oh my gosh, look at you guys. My shirt's blowing. Wait, my shirt's blowing. Uh, the 400 <laughs> square foot, this thing will cool off. There's two speeds. There's a uh, two speeds on this thing. See see the, the thing right here? Three yeah. speeds. So there's two speeds. That's, that's high. That's low. We're going to go high speed. There's mode. We're on cooling. Right now, because it's summer, it does have fan mode though, so we're gonna turn it down to 69. I'm actually gonna get the monitor to read the supply air temperature. Oh, this feels so nice. You guys, this is exciting. I want this on all the time. For some reason, the sound wasn't working here, but I was trying to tell you guys I really enjoyed it. I mean, look at, look at my shirt just blowing and everything. And that was all cold air. Larry wanted a piece of it, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at you that. Guys, look at the supply air temperature. It's freaking 54, 53 oh, degrees coming out. So 52 degrees. Nice. That means 51 degree air is coming out. That is amazing. You can't ask for colder air than that. 50. Dang. You love your toy? <laughs> Don't ever leave me, you air. No, you named it Chili. <laughs> okay. Are you ready? <laughs> he wants to delete the do-over. <laughs> Don't ever leave me Chili. <laughs> oh man, this is this is a must for anybody who has hot weather. The yeah. temperature coming out of here is clean. And so you, could you use this if a garage has like a window in it? Some people do have yeah. windows in garages, like or it, uh, you know. Say someone has air, but one of the rooms doesn't cool because it's the furthest away from the house, you know, and some some people need to add something like this. And 
when you're cooling, you don't need to drain it because it self evaporates in the coil, so you don't need to put a drain in and worry about nothing. It's That's amazing. Cool. If you fill this, you feel it's hot because it's getting rid of all the hot air out of the house. Oh, shoot. <laughs> Look, I'll put this on here. Here, let's get crazy, guys. <laughs> Uh, we will have a link for this down below as well, so make sure to check that out. Look at it. Look at it. Oh, yeah. It's removing all the hot air in the house. Dang. This is just on here. Imagine the, the air that's actually inside of it. It's 106. Dang. It's removing all the heat from the house. This thing is amazing. Like I said, 400 square foot is what this, this unit right here is equivalent to cool down which is a pretty nice size. It's about a one ton unit. Thank Which you, New Air. We awesome. love it. I'm going to be chilling here instead of my room. <laughs> she entered herself here. But at least she's reading a book. But yeah, this is her spot now.